Hey guys, so I was feeling the exact opposite of creative when I came up with this example. So what I've done is I've rolled a dice and I've rolled it 10 times. So I rolled a dice 10 times and I recorded the numbers which came up on my dice. So I got a 3, a 6, a 4, a 2, a 1, a 4, a 6, a 4, a 2, and a 5. And what we're going to use this data for is we're going to use it to draw what we call a dot plot. So it's exciting stuff this morning. Basically with the dot plot what we do is we want to construct a frequency table first or we can just go straight into our dot plot. So I think I might do it with the way where I show you a frequency table first. So over here I've got my uh, result for my dice roll and then sorry there's a T in result but I'll just leave it without a T for the minute. Uh, we want to show you the result and then we've got the frequency. So the possible results we had for our dice, uh, it's got six sides, it was a six sided dice, it wasn't loaded. I've got a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, or a six. So they're all the possible the results that we could get on a dice, which is just a normal dice. And then now all I want to do is I want to record the frequency. So I go through and to do a frequency table we just count and then we put our frequency down here. So basically how many times we count the result. Uh, I'll do this quickly. There's a video on it if you want to have a look. So there was one one. There was two twos. There was one three there were three fours there was one five and there were two sixes so I'm pretty good at Monopoly because I roll a lot of fours and sixes which is handy so there we go so what we want to do now is we want to take this and draw a dot plot so with the dot plot all we do is we only have one axis so I have this one axis which goes down the bottom here. And on this axis we break it into the categories we have or the possible outcomes. So down the bottom on our axis we have the possible outcomes. So for our dice roll this is going to be this column here. So this column here. These are our possible outcomes. So these are what go down here. So we knew we could have either have either an outcome of one, which is if we rolled a one, we could have an outcome of two. If we rolled a two, we could have an outcome of three. If we rolled a three, four. If we rolled a four, five. If we rolled a five and 6 if we rolled a 6. So these are our possible outcomes for a dot plot and we just write them down the bottom here. Then what we do is with a dot plot we just go through and we will put a single dot over our possible outcome where we record a frequency. So every time we have an outcome there we will just put a dot. So over here for the number of ones I rolled, so there was one one, out of my ten times I rolled a dice, one came up once, so I'll put a dot there. I'll just put this one dot. For the number of times I rolled a two, so this these possible outcomes just represent the numbers on the dice. So po possible number of times I rolled a two was two, so I put one dot and then I put a second dot to signal that there were two times when I rolled the dot, uh, when I rolled the dice and got a two. So when I go to three, I go to my results table, my possible outcomes, the result of three occurred once, so I just put one dot there. When I go to the result of four, I read the frequency and I can see that four occurred three times, so four occurred three times, one, two, three, 
then I can go and I can do 5 and I can see that 5 occurred once so I just put one dot where 5 occurred 1 and then I do 6 so the result of 6 occurred twice so I just put two dots at number 6 and that is basically how we draw a dot plot so I just take my frequency table every time I've got a frequency I put a dot there so if there's one I put one dot two I put two dots one one three three one one two two so the frequency just becomes the number of dots above the outcome and it's important that we always give these a title so this will be the outcomes of 10 rolls of a die or dice or whatever that's meant to be dice or die and then for anyone reading this they can see okay these are the possible outcomes it could be a 1, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 5 or a 6 just like on any standard six sided dice and they'll see that with these 10, 10 throws 4 came up the most because it had a frequency of 3 then 2 and 6 came up the next most and 1, 3 and 5 were only rolled once so it's actually got a lot of information about what happened and it's really just a colourful picture um, also what you'll notice is that if we go through and just count up these dots so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 it's equal to our sample size so I said I rolled a dice 10 times I said I had 10 rolls of this dice there were 10 dots so that's how we draw a dot plot there'll be some questions go up because you can ask some tricky stuff about dot plots and I'll see you guys for the next video cheers